what does the random in random access memory actually mean? Imagine you're at a library, and instead of having to walk through every aisle to find the right book, you could teleport directly to the exact shelf and grab it. That's essentially what random access is, getting straight to the data you need without faffing about with everything else. In the olden days of computing, memory worked sequentially. If you wanted data stored in the middle of a reel of tape, then you had to wind through all the tape before it to get there. Random access memory, or RAM, was a massive upgrade. It let the CPU fetch data from any address directly, in any order, and at the same speed. How does RAM pull this off? It's all about clever wiring and fast switching. Each bit of data in RAM is stored in a specific location, identified by its unique address. Each chunk of data stays in one physical spot. The CPU doesn't have to gather fragments like a treasure hunt. When the CPU requests data, the RAM's transistors, acting like highly disciplined bouncers, open the gates for the exact location and shut everything else down. Voila, your data is delivered in nanoseconds. Why not head to craigandave.org for more of this, as well as more specific teaching and learning resources.